Hello, Pokemon trainers. Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video on iStarly TV. Today, we are talking about some information that we got on October 21st, I believe, a lot of Pokemon content creators and news sites revealed that they were allowed to, I think, travel to the Nintendo office or something in certain locations and they were allowed to play Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for one hour. They basically had like kind of free reign to do whatever they wanted for one complete hour, which means we got a lot of information about the games that is confirmed now. One of those pieces of information, as you can tell by the title of this video, is probably one of the most frustrating and upsetting pieces of news from the games. And I've been making a lot of videos about this this a lot just in general what they've been saying about these games and a lot of it a lot of it has been amazing a lot of it has been just great news and exciting things that are coming to the game this one in particular is probably the most frustrating and that is it is confirmed now that there is no level scaling in pokemon scarlet and violet which in my opinion takes away from the open aspect of the games these games are being advertised correctly as Pokemon's first completely open world games. Something that's really exciting about these games is that you have the ability to go anywhere, do anything. You can absolutely do the gyms out of order. You can go from the moment you're set free, you can go wherever you want. And that's something that's brand new to Pokemon games because a lot of, especially more recent Pokemon games, have been super linear where you have to follow a specific trajectory and it's made even worse by the fact that there are characters like Lily in Pokemon Sun and Moon or Hop in Pokemon Sword and Shield who basically stop you at every turn and tell you where you need to go and talk to you incessantly which is pretty annoying. So it was a huge deal to learn that you didn't have to do that. There are three different stories in, Sword, in Scarlet and Violet, sorry, and you can choose to do them in any order you want. You can do them, you can kind of do them all at the same time. You can do one completely and then finish it and then do another one and then finish that and go to the third, etc. So all of this is really good news, but it's kind of completely deflated by the fact that if I, if I want to go to the, basically what would, typically be the eighth gym leader, the far. Let's say I start the game and I say, I wanna start by battling the gym leader who is the farthest away from me, which would probably in most games typically be the quote unquote strongest gym leader. I can do that. I can run all the way to whatever town that is and challenge that gym leader, but their Pokemon are gonna be in the high 40s or high 50s and my Pokemon are obviously not. So because there is no level scaling, it basically kind of does force you to some kind of linear path, right? If there's no level scaling, when I start the game and my Pokemon are at level level five through 10, basically what would typically be the gym leaders that are like number three through eight with Pokemon from level, I don't know, 20 to, to 40 or 50 would be completely off limits to me. Like there's no, there's literally no way I could ever defeat those gym leaders that early in the game. And so I I, th I think I understand why they did this. And, and I, I'm gonna be honest, I, I know I'm sounding really negative. I don't wanna be too negative here. I am disappointed in this, but it's not gonna break the games for me. I'm still gonna love these games, I know it. Um, I am worried that this makes the games a lot easier than, than we would have hoped for an open world Pokemon game, especially given that a lot of previous Pokemon games have been very easy. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm really interested in hearing what people think about this because, you know, on the one hand, we've never had to consider whether there would be level scaling in a Pokemon game because they were pretty linear. So this game is also going to be fairly linear because again, we're gonna have to follow a, kind of a specific path with the gym leaders, even though we can do whichever order we want. I mean, it, I guess it'll make certain challenges, right? And, and that is fun. I think the fact that it's open-ended and you can do the gym leaders in any order is still exciting. Yes, we cannot start the game and, and battle the eighth gym leader because we there's literally no way we can ever beat them, but it means that maybe towards the middle of the game, if I'm if I have three badges, I could 
choose, oh, I'm gonna do a challenge and I'm gonna go battle the quote unquote sixth gym leader or something and maybe I have a, a decent chance or I'm gonna battle the fifth gym leader and you know, they'll be a lot higher level than me, but I'm gonna do that, right? And that'll be a fun little challenge to do. And, and I think that it opens up a lot of possibilities for how to play the game. So bottom line, I am upset. I'm, I am a, a little frustrated that there's no level scaling. I think it would have been really exciting. I mean, also something that I just thought about is in the wild area, there kind of is, in, in Sword and Shield, there kind of is level scaling. When you start the game and you go in the wild area, all the Pokemon are like level like 10 or something like that. And then as you collect more badges, the levels of the Pokemon in the wild area continue to increase until by the time you have eight badges, they're like level 60, right? So I wonder if they're still going to do something like that or if there is literally no level scaling at all. So whatever are the earlier areas of the open world, will always have level three Lechonks and level three Smolovs and whatever are quote unquote the later levels or the later areas of the open world will always have like level 40 and 50 and 60 Pokemon. We'll see how it goes, but at least trainer or gym leader levels do not scale in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So. I just wanted to put that out there and talk about it, open some discussion to all of you. Please do let me know in the comments what you think about this, because I am interested in having a discussion with everyone about this and, and hearing what other people think about this. Again, I sound negative here, but I'm still excited for these games. I'm still going to love these games. You know, maybe they'll be somewhat easy, but I'm still going to, I can impose my own challenges if I want. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to these. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Please subscribe for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos, which will be ramping up very soon and also click the notification the bell the bell icon for notifications thank you very much for watching and i'll talk to you all very soon